Uh, well, hello guys. You might notice that I look a little different. No, I didn't get taller. I didn't grow more handsome overnight, maybe. But you're probably wondering what happened here. If you didn't see my recent post on the community tab, I'll fill you in. So in some previous videos, I've definitely talked about motorbike safety in Thailand. Uh, the traffic can be crazy here, there's a lot of bikes everywhere, so you gotta do everything you can to be safe. Now if you know anything about me, you know that I've been on bikes for a long time. If you don't know anything about me, I used to ride dirt bikes, I've ridden motorcycles my entire life. So I would consider myself an avid rider. But at the same time, I understand what comes with that. The more you're on bikes, the more you're exposing yourself to it, and that's just, bad things are gonna happen no matter how long you ride, no matter how good you are stuff like this happen. I do just wanna preface everything by saying that I'm okay, I'm feeling a lot better today. The past four or five days, I just took time to rest, which is why I haven't posted in a few days. I apologize for that. I was pretty beat up initially, but I'm just sore now. I've really just been super sore and haven't been able to move around a lot. Taking showers has been a nightmare. Getting dressed in the morning kinda of sucks, but I'm okay, everything's gonna be fine moving forward. I just, uh, I separated my shoulder, I bruised some ribs. Um, got some road rash and stuff obviously, but it could have been a lot worse. Luckily I was wearing a helmet, always wear your helmet, and that did keep me safe. I did end up banging my head, the helmet kept me safe, so I took most of the shot to my shoulder. It wasn't that bad. Separated my shoulder like I said, but I have done that quite a few times, so I pretty much knew what happened as soon as it happened. And the only thing that comes with that is you, every time that does happen is you do get some ligament damage. So I'm gonna have to be in this sling for a few weeks to you know, just kind of immobilize my arm and let those ligaments heal up. I also just wanna throw a massive thank you to everybody that wished me the best on my community post, hoping me to get well soon. I really do appreciate it. I just wanted to let you guys know what was kind of going on. I do like to upload daily, so I didn't want you guys to think that I just kind of bailed. So I really do appreciate everybody stopping by and wishing me the best. It means a lot, thank you. Well, if you don't know, my main form of transportation here in Pattaya is a motorbike. I pretty much ride that everywhere, unless I'm going to like the bar or something like that. So I'm on the bike a lot. The more you're on the bike, like we said earlier, the most you're just exposed to accidents. And a lot of the times, things on motorcycles, they're just gonna be accidents. Yes, you go down a lot if you're not paying attention, but even if you are paying attention, it's still possible for things like this to happen, which is essentially what happened to me. So four or five days ago, I think now, I was uh, leaving my condo, I was just running up to 7-Eleven, which is only about uh, half a mile away from my house cruising down the road, the same road that I drive all the time. And if you know anything about Thailand is there's lots of street dogs here. And generally the street dogs are pretty good at staying out of the traffic. But every once in a while you get one that runs out into the street. I got really bad timing. I was cruising by this one. I was watching him there, I'm watching him and everything. And he ran out in front of me. And I didn't, I didn't try to swerve to miss him. I just locked up my brakes because even if you hit a dog on a motorbike, you're still gonna go down super hard. So I panicked locked up all the brakes, and if you know anything about motorcycles, you got a front brake on your bars. I grabbed too much front brake. These scooters don't necessarily have really good front grip, so when I did that, the front wheel washed out in front of me, slid out to the side, and I was still holding on the bars and pretty much took all the shot to my shoulder and the side of my head. Luckily, shoulder took the brunt of it, and then my helmet protected everything else. Now when I first went down and then I sat up and my arm kind of went limp, I thought I had just initially broken my collarbone, which isn't that bad, but the only thing is that sometimes when you break your collarbone, it does require surgery. You gotta get a plate in there. So I really wasn't looking forward to that. I didn't want to have to get surgery here or anything like that. But luckily once I sat up and kind of felt around a little bit more, I realized that I just separated my shoulder and it wasn't actually, I didn't dislocate my shoulder. I have an AC separation, which is essentially where your collarbone connects up to your shoulder. There's a big ligament right there it's not necessarily a joint, it's just a big piece of cartilage and ligament. So I hyperextended that, tore it a little bit, but as long as you immobilize it and it's still set pretty good, it will heal on its own and it doesn't require surgery. But you have to make sure that you're taking care of it, icing it, and not moving your arm around a bunch, risking tearing it more. So luckily when this happened, I was right in front of a condo that's right here around the way and that condo has security guards out front. They saw the whole thing came out, got my bike out of the road, stopped traffic and stuff to make sure that nobody ran into me, and then they called an ambulance. And the cool thing about most of the ambulances here is it's kind of like, uh, they kind of just do it for charity. Like there are ambulances that are hired by the hospitals and stuff, but most of them just do it in their spare time and they just kind of help out. They're not very expensive if they cost anything at all. So the EMT guys came out, threw me in the sling and drove me to the hospital for free, which was really nice. Now after getting to the hospital, this is when things got a little bit interesting. So I do have travel insurance, but when I got it, I was really just 
really looking for travel insurance that covered me for COVID and things were getting sick. So I didn't realize that my insurance didn't cover fractures or x-rays. So when I got to the hospital, I essentially already knew what had happened at this point, but the doctors still wanted to x-ray everything just to make sure there wasn't any more damage. At this point, by the time I got there, my chest hurt pretty bad, so I was pretty convinced I broke some ribs. So they just went ahead, took some x-rays. I, I didn't break any ribs. I just bruised my cartilage where your ribs connect to your sternum and your backbone. So it was pretty hard to breathe for a couple of days, but I'm pretty good now. And then they went ahead and said that, yes, I tore some ligaments, but they're not bad enough to where I need surgery or anything like that. So I'll just have to be in the sling for a couple of weeks. Grand total, I was only at the hospital for about two hours, got out of there, and then just got some like Tylenol and stuff from the pharmacy down the street. So for going bad, it went pretty good. Um, it could have been a lot worse, like I said. One recommendation that I could give from this whole experience is that if you're coming here and you're planning on staying for an extended period and you're planning on road riding motorbikes quite extensively, just go ahead and double check and make sure your insurance actually covers x-rays, anything that could happen in, in an auto accident. So I went ahead and switched mine up now that I'm covered for that stuff again. Luckily the x-rays were still very cheap. It was, uh, I forget, I think it was about $100 for everything, including all like the doctor, talking to the doctors and all that stuff. So compared to the states where it would have cost you thousands of dollars for the x-rays, tens of thousands of dollars for the ambulance, it ended up being really cheap. Not much to this video, I just kinda wanna give you guys an update of what's going on. It's still probably gonna be a day or two before I'm back full-fledged. I just wanna make sure I'm taking it real slow and just kinda easing back into everything. I'm gonna try to do another live stream tonight, possibly on Tuesday. I'll probably put one up in the morning tomorrow as well on Wednesday, so we'll have that moving forward. And then in the next day or two, I should be back to my daily upload. If you guys do have any questions about insurance or the hospital experience or anything like that here, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Or if you want some more direct line of contact, feel free to cruise over to my Patreon. That's the best way to contact me. And I really appreciate all you guys checking in on me. It's, it really means a lot. If you'd like to support the channel, best way to do that is to subscribe, drop a like on the video, share it with a friend, you know what I mean? And I had to spend a little bit of money on this. So if you're feeling generous, go hit up the PayPal. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later.